Hello guys, it's Elmer, your fire protection guy. Welcome back to this channel. Our work to replace this fire indicating panel was approved. So we're going to change this panel to a new F220 Petronics addressable fire indicating panel with a conventional module. So the conventional module, the Petronics is compatible to the existing detector here. We're just going to replace the end of light resistor. Plus, we have a new amplifier, a new occupant warning system. Plus, we're going to run a new cable from this fire indicating panel to the mechanical ventilation car park exhaust panel, exhaust pan fan panel. Okay, so that will be exciting. So watch this channel. I'm going to start removing everything. So the most important is when you start replacing the fire panel or upgrading or remodeling whatsoever, you have to be cautious of labeling. So we're going to turn off the power to this panel, remove everything, remove all power source, and then we have to remove all the zone connections, the bell connections, Nothing else, so very basic. So we must label which is zone one, which is zone two, which is zone three, and then easy, we sweep. So that's zone number two, zone number three, and zone number four. That corresponds to what I have here, right? And then later on, we're going to remove this bell or fire strobe connection. Right now it's a bell, so we're going to replace that as an upgrade to a fire strobe. And this one is 240 volts, which we're going to disconnect later and then connect it again. I already switched off the power, that power. So there's no input power of AC 240 volts going inside this, this board. And then the occupant warning system, there is the, okay, hold on. Okay, that's the speaker line. We're going to disconnect Sorry, where's the speaker line there? Okay, we're going to disconnect the speaker line. That one, label it, and then that's it.
Okay, what we have done so far is we put the fire panel, we connected the cables for the zone circuits. So there are three of them. We connected the speaker cables. We are about to connect the batteries and the power, the 240 volts now is ready to switch on. So what we're going to do next is to look for the end of line resistor which is 4K7 in the field, and we're going to replace it with a 10K resistor, which is what required in this module. I found it in the toilet, but you don't want to be there. The toilet is blocked, the plush is not working, it's so pretty stinky. Okay, let's move on. Let's go back to the fire panel. Our next job is to replace that fire belt with a strobe. At, at the same time, we're going to put the end of line resistor in that new strobe. I think that's it enough for the day. There's still rubbish that I need to clean up. And then the pipes indicating panel, tomorrow I will program that. The mechanical ventilation can uh, wait for a while. I don't have my apprentice right now. So we go, he's going to help me to run the cables. And I have two missing battery lugs. So I'll finish this tomorrow. It's our second day today. We're going to power up the system, connect the batteries, do programming, do minor connections to the loop responder, temporarily connect the pan relay inside so we can commission the pan switches and do some testing. So we did some minor wiring inside the control panel. So temporarily we installed this fan relay inside while we're still running the cables so that's your fan relay and then that's your fan switch we're going to talk about fan relays and fan switches in the future this is our loop responder it was not part of the whole fire system when i bought it so i just introduced this because i have a spare in my stocks so I connect the loop, the loop to the loop card. So that's a loop connection to the loop card. And then this one, that is loop one, that is loop number two on an addressable system. So loop number one, where our fan relay and fan switches are connected. And loop number two is for our fan uh, loop responder. So we're going to start programming now the system. We're going to power it up. Okay, so we powered up the system. All right, so it's initializing and then we can connect the batteries. You don't connect the batteries unless the system is powered up. Okay, so now let's connect the batteries. All right, let's extend to that. Then we connect the batteries, right? Otherwise, if you have no power and then you connect the batteries, it will spark. All right, so that's pan relay is blinking. All right, let's see what will happen. So it's initializing. So because the system is not programmed yet, it's going to sense a lot of fault. All right. So loop resetting, please wait. So this is the first initialization of the fire indicating panel. Programming the system. There are two ways. One is just do it in your laptop, 
save it to a USB and stick it there. The second one is using the conventional cable, all right? The 9, the 12 bit cable. So it connect to your laptop and then that's what I'm doing right now, the second one. Because I want to download the existing manufacturer's uh, program and then I can start from there. We have just completed our programming. We're going to commission and test the system. If it's okay, so let's start testing the system. I'm going to initiate right now. I'm going isolated all the auxiliaries. I'm going to initiate an alarm. Okay. Let's start testing it. All right. Let's see what will happen. So, all right, we had the alarm. I'll initiate an occupant warning system. All right, it's working. I already tested the strobe outside and it's working. Now we're going to initiate the activation of the mechanical ventilation system. Now it's on a fire mode. You cannot see it's running right now because it's not connected. But these switches, look, the lights are, it's on. That means the pan relay module has activated. So that means it's switching from normally open to normally closed. So that means it's okay. All right, let's reset the system and put the system to normal. Press that fire mode. And that one. There you go. All good. Now we have completed our job. So the thing, the next one will be just a mechanical connection and that will be easy, all right? Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something in this video. I'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to support this channel. Thank you again.